What's happening, Wargamers? Welcome to another episode of the Marvel Crisis Protocol Dossier, the review show where we talk about Marvel Crisis Protocol characters, take a look at their characters, the model that they have, any sort of cards that are aligned with them that feel kind of relevant, uh, and then just give some general thoughts and feelings for uh, where they kind of belong in the game. Now, remember, this show is not meant to be the be-all, end-all. Uh, this is just a jumping-off point, give you a brief overview of the character itself. There's lots of great in-depth reviews that you can find online, and I definitely encourage you to go check those out to get a greater understanding of these characters. Uh, and, of course, these shows can't help them without the wonderful support of all the patrons. Thank you so much for everyone who is currently a patron and supports the channel. If you, too, would like to support the channel, hit up patreon.com slash Studios. A couple bucks a month helps keep all this happening. So today we are going to talk about Mysterio, Quentin Beck, uh, for the Criminal Syndicates and Marvel Crisis Protocol. And as usual, we're gonna we're gonna start with the model here. And I gotta say, this is this is actually one of my favorite models in the game. I just I love the pose. I love the showmanship. I like the uh, I like all the the smoke coming off the uh, the base there. It's a nice change from uh, from a lot of the tactical rocks. I know a couple other characters have some uh, some design elements like that as well. But I just really dig it. I think uh, for a character design that could be that could have been very simple. I like that they actually gave it some nice uh, some nice flair to it. Uh, the dome is, I mean, the dome is a nice, great blank canvas. You can do a whole bunch of really fun, cool stuff with it. I've seen some uh, some really cool designs, some mystical swirls, some galaxy type swirl type things, uh, and it's really cool. I mean, I obviously just went with a with a straight up um, uh, shiny metallic one. That's kind of what I was happy with. Uh, but also like just painting on a on a bit of a time span here. Uh, there's lots of good detail on the suit as well. You can see a lot of the good muscles on there. I like all the the little details on. Uh, on the bits of the yellow there that just kind of really pick up the shades. So all in all, it, it creates a very cool looking model. Very easy to assemble. Didn't really have any issues with it, which was really quite nice as well. Uh, the only thing I would say that was a little tricky was, you know, making sure that the that the smoke got painted up uh, properly and, you know, you didn't get anything on the base there. Uh, but overall, I, I really dig the, uh, the model for this one. I, I think it's uh, really kind of cool. Now, as far as the card itself, so Mysterio... Taking a look at a card here, and uh, forgive this is a, if it is a little little choppy. We're trying something a little bit different here uh, on this particular uh, this particular issue. Uh, so as far as the card, we have a uh, st stat line of six stamina, one one five for the defenses, one physical, one energy, five mystic. He is a slow mover, size two, three threat. Uh, so obviously that defensive stat line is a little on the low side, but you will see why as we get through the card itself. Uh, it does. He does lose one point of stamina on the injured side, which is important to note. So he's got 11 total. So his first attack is a Mystic Hypnosis Gas, range three, Mystic for zero power. It is a builder attack. Uh, I'm not going to harp on that too much, but uh, you know, four dice and builders always feel a little on the rough side. However, if you'd happen to deal damage with it, you are going to be able to advance the target character short. That in and of itself is a really nice uh, touch there. Uh, then he has a Mystic Spender called Curtain Call, range 2, 6 dice for 4 power. If it deals damage in a size 2 or less, uh, you can throw the target character short, which is really nice. And it's got a Wild Stagger. Um, so, I mean, it's not the biggest spender, but he's got a lot of things to displace and uh, and just kind of like curtail the opponent's ability to move around and really just impact their uh, action economy. Uh, next up, we have a reactive ability for three power called Tricks and Traps. I love this one. I think a lot of people do. When an enemy character ends movement within three of this character, and it's important to note that uh, a movement is basically, uh, you know, can be an advance, a push, place, or, uh, or a throw. It's any time the character model would be moved. Uh, <clears throat> you can spend three. You will then roll four dice, and the enemy character will suffer one damage for each crit and wild rolled. And if you happen to deal uh, damage as part of this, the, uh, the this character may advance short as well. So that's also a nice little bit of thing there. It uh, you know gets some damage in there. You can potentially end an activation pretty early on, but it also allows for a little bit of board placement to, to happen as well, uh, which is is always really nice. Like being able to advance short, really super right there. Next up, we got an innate ability called Master of Illusions. Whenever this character rolls attack dice, uh, if you happen to roll, uh, or it gains one power if it rolls at least one blank, and uh, you always get to use your Mystic Defense when making a dodge roll. So basically, uh, anytime something gets thrown at Mysterio, he's going to dodge with five dice, which is always really nice. 
We have Smoke and Mirrors, another innate ability. When an enemy character targets this character with an attack, Mysterio can basically uh, use its Mystic Defense unless the attacking character pays two. So it's basically it's attacks to attack Mysterio. Makes it very expensive to go into him with spenders. Uh, and that five Mystic Defense is just, that is a really, really solid defense. So a lot of the time it's going to be very, uh, very much in the interest of the attacker to, to pay that and get by it. Uh, then he has two more innate abilities. One is stealth, so he needs to be within range three to be targeted. And then he has flight. Uh, now, granted, with a size, uh, with a short move, flight's not hugely important. But what it does mean, uh, it can, uh, it doesn't really do a lot. <laughs> I think right now it really just hurts you more than anything else. Uh, and then we do have a card as well called the Grand Illusion. Uh, and what this card does is it's an unaffiliated active card. Mysterio can play four power to play this card. Till the end of the cleanup phase, when an enemy character makes an attack, defense, or dodge roll within three of Mysterio, it does not add crit results. And Mysterio changes all of its crit results to skulls instead. So the Grand Illusion is a great way of kind of shutting down uh, a character's ability to, to really do a lot of damage in a turn. Because shutting down the, the, the crit results, like you're not adding more dice for it, <coughs> and then on top of that you're turning it into skulls. You're, you're effectively removing a dice facing from the successful results for that character, and you're getting rid of one of the, the big sort of um, uh, explosive mechanics for it, which is really kind of nice. And the fact that it's just sort of a blanket range 3 effect, it's not a targeted character, it's just any character within, uh, any enemy character I should say, uh, within range 3 of Mysterio. So if you can get them up into the middle of a scrum, this is a great way to kind of protect some of your uh, your team members for that particular round and it's really kind of good so where does mysterio <clears throat> see some play well i really dig him in criminal syndicate i've run him in quite a few criminal syndicate lists simply because he does have that nice uh that nice defensive tech uh, i really like him with uh new modok the uh, uh what is it scientist supreme because i really like the ability to bodyguard onto uh onto mysterio force them to pay some extra power to get by that big defense ro uh, roll right there I've really enjoyed him in uh, Doc Ox Criminals or uh, Spider Foes as well, where he gets extra power whenever he's targeted. Really kind of solid. Between that and rolling blanks, <clears throat> you can really power Mysterio up quickly, which is quite nice. Um, you can always explore some of the Trap House style lists. So those are lists where you're going to punish people for moving their characters around. If you have any sort of like way to displace them, move them around yourself, it's a great way of just getting some extra damage. Because something that's really cool about Mysterio's card is that all the stuff that he does to enemy characters to displace them can trigger tricks and traps. And that's something that that adds up and can deal a bunch of damage. And it's not limited to once per uh, once per turn as well. So, I mean, you could theoretically move a character a couple times through Hypnosis Gas and potentially get a couple uh, a couple effects of tricks and traps on there and just really cause a bad time for, for enemy characters. He's a very interesting character to play as, and I think he's a lot of fun when he starts uh, when he starts going off. Unfortunately, getting that initial bit of power to really start getting that train rolling can be a little tricky because Hypnosis Gas being a four dice gain or builder isn't always the most conducive to, to getting that ball rolling. So if you have ways of giving him power to start getting him into tricks and traps range uh, and just kind of get him into a position where he can really mess up with an enemy uh, position, it is fantastic. So I, I like uh, I like Mysterio a lot for that sort of thing. So definitely sound off. Let me know what you think about Mysterio in the game, and uh, we'll see what uh, what the conversation brings to that one. And of course, uh, if you want to learn more about this, go check out some online conversations. And if you want to support the channel, patreon.com slash Studios. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Wargaming.